afternoon and welcome to channel 48. In this video I want to show you a beautiful mod and ROM, a combination of these two that you could install on your old Samsung S2 Plus. This is especially for the 9105 and the 9105P. Still very nice phone I must say, the screen is amazing. Um, it has a great sound, uh, stereo microphones. It's a good device, nothing wrong with this device. Only thing wrong with this device is that, you know, officially it's not being updated anymore. And I think it ended somewhere on KitKat. So that's a little bit sad. So let me show you what we're gonna create. This is, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I, I was testing out uh, some wallpapers. There's a beautiful wallpaper app that you uh, can uh, add, or at least add, it's already, inserted and there are many beautiful wallpapers available that you can just select and these are a bunch it's really lovely to see that you know this all is in the room so you can choose what you would love to see in the room you know if you want this wallpaper you just select this one you set it to your home screen and it will be added to your home screen. You see that? So, um, I also did the settings part. And here you can see the settings. Really lovely, really nice, I think. What do you say? So we're gonna call this the iOS Dark, uh, uh, yeah, ROM. Because in fact, it's gonna this this mod and this room in fact the tools that i added in the in the mod they will during the install be injected into the rom so when the rom's gonna boot it's gonna boot with these tools that i injected so when you start up the phone everything will be there so you could do an offline installer and then you know all the apps will will be there in one go even if you will have to reset the phone, if you go into the settings, restore phone back to factory reset settings, you know, then it's gonna come just like this again. So, so this what we're in fact uh, uh, building, and this what I'm showing you, uh, could be permanent on the phone. You know, the only way how you will be able to to really delete everything again is go into the recovery, wipe, you know, do an advanced wipe not just a uh, uh, data factory reset because then you know it's just gonna boot up with with this again with all these tools of course for a new user so for instance if you would sell the phone you know and you want to sell the phone with with, with nougat uh, on it and including this this mod injected into that room then in fact you're gonna have a phone that permanently will give that user even in 10 years from now when they're gonna do a reset you know the thing is gonna come just like this so you can say the mod is in fact updating the rom to different look and feels look and feels that i wanted to give to that device so in no way this is gonna become ios so that you will not have apple app store no this is just you know themed this is all possible in in android world windows world linux world we can team things to look like something but it's not that something okay <laughs> so people ask me <laughs> how can i can i download <laughs> apple apple applications of course you cannot you know this is android uh, android and ios these are two different operating systems so even though they tell you ios rom ios 9 rom for for you know for your phone it's never gonna be ios even when the thing is saying ios even when you say when you see apple logo in there and you're like you know these chinese phones these chinese uh, I, ios phones i have some uh, that i showed here on my on my channel these things, if you go into the settings, telling you 64 gigabyte, you see exactly what you see in, in the eye. These guys are very good in teaming. Nothing like that in this phone, okay? This is Android, and the settings part, as you can see, is, is still Android, but it's it's updated to, to, to beautiful look and feels, you know, black with colors, and I think you can even make it white with the colors, so it will be 
very nice so yeah let's go ahead and install it and let me show you what you all must do and 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 how to get your your samsung s2 plus just as beautiful as mine you know and uh, yeah let's do let's just do it so i'm giving you a better look at this beautiful system and let me show you it's built uh 712 android it's done on resurrection okay i did not mod in here you know what these uh, guys are doing these chinese uh, uh, fakers they they change all these things it's very easy to to change everything in here i could change this this build date i could change it to 2018 you know i could change the name into ios pugrom you know i could uh uh yeah the maintainer is dorian i could put my name there you know puck puck darlington i will never do a thing like that so don't worry dorian i will never change i can change each and everything in here but then I'm going to tell you that I changed it, you know, then I will tell you that I changed it. And and in a ROM like this, it would be nice to kind of change these things a bit to make it, you know, fit more with, with, with the team. But then somewhere here at the bottom, you're going to also read these settings are themed. I, I, I just set it for the team and are not, are not, are not real, you know, so yeah. I think there must be some ethics in in whenever you're gonna do these things you must have responsibility uh, especially as especially for the users they may, they may never feel that somebody is, st is stealing their works you can upgrade their works but you must always credit these guys there and you cannot also you can also not make some youtube video and when you when you're gonna send the people to download that rum that you send them to the link of the guy or, or or your i don't know what with a lot of banners or that you put some some survey on it you know that people must wait and and disable the ad block and then suddenly you hear your computer has been infected you know and and then suddenly you're like hey what happened here and it's happening here on youtube all these guys are putting links to 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 these uh, to these websites and 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 then you must wait and you must disable ad blocker nothing like that you should not do these things you know if i was the 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 maker of that room I would bomb a clutch you really for real I would come to your channel and mess you up by you know because you don't do these things you must have respect for the guys that, that that work on these things it's because of them we have this room so all you guys out there stealing other people's rooms watch out I, you know I'm watching you so yeah so then I said it okay we're gonna reboot and we're gonna reboot in a recovery mode. You see how nice it is? But you must you must do all these things uh, afterwards. So this is a long video. Eh? So start to prepare yourself for a long video. You, you see, February uh, or October, what does it say there? Uh, Thursday 18th, it's not showing some fake uh, 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 number and, and you know, representing your calendar. This is live, live icons. Also, the clock, it ticks, you know, it, it, it moves. It's not like... Uh... So what are we going to do? Let me first look if I already copied it. Let me check. 2018 S2 All. I got it. All right, so we're going to go home. We're going to do wipe, advanced wipe. Dalvik, catch system data. We wipe. Okay, we go back home, we say install. And what I'm gonna install is Resurrection. I'm gonna go for Resurrection by Dorian. And Dorian is from France. He's a French uh, developer. And to Dorian, I want to say Dorian, uh, septem September uh, 2017, uh, to create the last ROM pour Le S2 Plus, s'il vous plaît, peut-être c'est possible pour uh, update uh, le security patches un peu, parce que le ROM c'est très c'est très bon, travaille très bien ici, et uh, merci beaucoup pour marcher uh, à le ROM, à la ROM pour le S2 Plus, 
I just asked him in my broken French uh, to update the system if it's possible. If he can make an update. You know, we must ask these guys, toch? And then when they update it, and then we make a nice little video of whatever they, they did, you know? That's, that's how to do it. We big them up. These guys are like artists. They are rock stars in Android world. I'm also gonna install Magisk. Because the root file on there was a little bit old. So I'm updating the root file. Because this ROM in fact already has root built in. But I'm updating these uh, these things. So now we're gonna reboot. And hopefully it's gonna go all good. It's always the question. Hmm? Will it boot or will it not boot? Dun, dun, dun. Dun. Welcome to the program. Will it boot or will it not boot? And there we go, and there is the S2 Plus, ladies and gentlemen, and it's booting the iOS mod that was injected into the fantastic, beautiful Resurrection Remix ROM that was created by Monsieur Dorian Diancu. And there you can see the result of these two together. And it's become a very beautiful iOS phone. That will also keep it look and feels even after a wipe data factory reset. So, merci beaucoup, Monsieur Dorian, parce que mon S2 Plus c'est un très bon téléphone et regardez très belle, almost as belle as Michel. Really, I tell you, very nice this phone. So, merci beaucoup, mon ami, mon ami. Vous êtes très bien. Vous êtes la best. Parce que non de personne ne veut travailler pas la S2. Et non, personne ne update pas le S2. C'est terrible, oui, c'est terrible. Mais c'est aussi bon. Parce que ici, c'est un très bel roman. From our friend Dorian Diancu, a XDA developer, travail beaucoup and has no time for updating this ROM, but he will, he will very soon, he will very soon. After seeing this video, he will be like, hey, I must update this ROM. These guys, they love my work. And, and, and I'm the only one, I can be the king of this phone, worldwide. Because at this moment, we have Dorian, we have, um, what was this, GST, uh, and also Renando, Renando also has a ROM, a Lineage OS 14, I saw in his list, but it was an old one. Was, was, was from last year, 2017. But that is also the case with this ROM. Eh? So in fact, yeah. But yeah, they are of course way newer than the than the <laughs> than the stock ROM. That one was from 2014 or so. That's outdated technology, you know. You are way safer being on uh, on Nougat. This is Nougat, of course, even though it's saying Apple there, peeps, please. This is not Apple. Apple has nothing to do with this. This is just a fan project. You know, we are a fan of the OS and we just mod and we team and we install it on our phone and we delete it again. You know, this is just fun project for the iOS lovers, you know, like me. I'm an iPhone user and uh, I always wanted uh, to make my Android phones look like iOS, you see that? And I come really close, thanks to the tools that we find in the Play Store. We find great tools that let us team. So this is just teaming, you know, this is not developed to look like, nothing like that. This is just Android, you know, and it was just teamed. It's just a team. A team that you can download yourself as well. It, you, you will not have uh, it the way I, I, I have it exactly because yeah you can 
but then after you're gonna reset the phone everything will be gone again you see this is like kind of a little bit permanently so yeah these phones they keep this look and feels even after after a crash or a wipe data factory reset you know this is this is the uh, the advance that we uh, that we also uh, modded not so long ago and uh, this is this was the what was this again the little uh, I forgot the 6810 or so 6310 I can't remember this is also a nice phone and this is of course the G1 these are all old phones but they all got the same looks you know the guy that created the launcher uh, loot and hit loot and hit from 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 uh, he's from uh, from Vietnam you know he created this launcher and uh, it works on all my phones even the 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 oldest phone yeah never mind this is not showtime you go back to wherever you were oh, this is not touch screen no so guys um yeah so i'm i'm kind of using great tools and every time i see something new come out something that i think hey wow this is great you know then i implement it and then you know i big up the developer who created it and i show it you know it's better than just showing a install of the launcher only i show you implementation of the launcher i think every good launcher should have its own room that is my belief because effect yeah a launcher is 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 effect uh, the whole thing it's all about the launcher it's all about the launch some people say yes yeah, just a launcher hey but it's all about the bloody launcher what is it about then tell me what is it about if i had another launcher on this thing then this thing would hey this is my iphone man or not what phone is this oh no this is my s2 plus i was almost confused i thought this was my iphone you see that's what i'm talking about the life uh, the life clock even the clock is is moving this is moving this is the very best ios launcher in the world there's no better one all the others are, are, are just pretending to be and they look uh, they are big and 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 useless in fact they are not like this the only launcher this thing uh, uh, uh at least that was close to this that was the old launcher that i used in my very 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 first concept i think it was uh, the netsuka launcher these guys they had the very best this are this this, this is called live live uh, icons that's why the clock is moving if you look at the clock you know it's actually moving look at the date the date is real today is thursday the, the 18th of october and look at that clock it's showing the real time you see that so that's why this launcher this is not just just an, another launcher never ever i want the very best for myself and as well for you so we even have inoti let me see if it works this is one without banners but it doesn't matter if they have banners because effect they are all effect yeah this this they have no show battery percentage yes clock for customized carrier name i'm just gonna call it t48 that is also possible you see that 3g showing the 3g sign on top you see that this is the inoti <coughs> and this is a good inoti because um, it will actually show you whenever you are uh, connected to USB. I was launched. No, deny. Ugh. Remember, deny. <coughs> deny. And deny. Okay, you can deny that all is no problem. And um, now uh, we already have root. Okay, so root is already there. I'm looking for my browser. Where is it? That's the root browser and the 
browser. Okay, so now, now we must work on the settings part. Now you're not done. You're not done yet. Yes, you you can you can you are done if you are fine with this, but I think uh, we should do even a little bit more, huh? Because I added substranium in here, and to um, apply the team, you will have to connect to the internet. So let me hide this thing. This is very annoying. In fact, this thing, it got my. It got my. Uh, It took over the icon of my settings and then I get confused. So I just hide it in a folder. As you can see, we can hide things in a folder. So let me connect real fast to the Wi-Fi. <clears throat> okay, make sure to give root permission to Substratum. So go into Magisk and make sure that Super User is enabled for Substratum. Otherwise, you will not be able to enable the team. So you must turn that on first. Make sure that it has root access. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go one more time, build and enable. And after that, we're gonna do a reboot. it takes a bit to do this and when it's done we can easily go into the firewall and block substranium from ever entering the internet again because you need the internet to apply this this team okay so you yeah you won't be able to do it without the internet at least you will be able but it's gonna take long. It's gonna first want to crash and then you must say wait and wait and wait. It's gonna take at least five minutes. It's gonna keep trying and then finally you will be able to, to do it. That's what I found out in some other phone. But yeah, in fact, Sustranium is teaming the complete everything. So in fact, yeah, that means it also gets access to, to everything. Okay, so what we're now going to do is a full restart. As you can see, uh, it's not that easy. Eh? So remember these steps that I'm taking, because we will, we will get that team. It just takes a little bit. So now you're also going to see a real-time boot. about 31 seconds okay so we're gonna go back to the team we just check our settings of course it's not done yet you see that it's still the way that it came and now we should be able to do the final thing And say build and enable. You see, I'm doing this all real time, eh? So only the guys that really watch this video will will understand the, the, the process. People that skip, they will not understand. They're gonna run into problems as it's not working. So this video is not for these people, okay? It's only for the people that really watch and listen word by word, whatever I'm saying. 
and showing you know don't just skip the video this video is for you for the guys with the s2 plus that still want to have a beautiful system Come on, baby. Okay, you see, now we see that it's up to date. We have a bunch of up to date now. Look, when we open it again, take a look at this. You see? Here they are, all updated. So the only thing we're gonna do now is select all. Hold, hold on, one back. Select all, and then uh, enable selected or build an update, of course. Let me see what's gonna happen. No, not yet. Let's take a look in the settings real fast so we understand what is going on. Our walls, wallpaper is gone. Let me see what happened. Settings. And it's already done, guys. We don't have to do anything anymore. You see that? We just fixed it. So, in fact, now what I'm doing, you know what I'm going to do, is um, I'm going to go into my firewall. You see the firewall also got a nice color. I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi. Okay, and then I'm gonna enable my firewall. We give root access and grant forever. We set the mode. That's only if you're gonna use my mod, okay? Otherwise you will not have this power to do that. You're gonna hit white list mode. You're gonna wait. Just wait. You can alternatively also close the app. Okay. And then you just open it again. Okay. So now we hit the whitelist and we set it to black. I'm blocking the Linux kernel. Okay. All applications running as root are blocked. You can go to the internet and then you can go through the list and block whatever you think that does not need the internet. To me that is my gallery, iNote, the launcher, Magisk can now stay home. It already rooted the phone, we're done with it. My music player doesn't have to go on the internet. The Omni Jives, Jaws can stay home. The Pixel Launcher can stay home. That one is also included in here. So if you want to go Android, you can go Android. You can choose. Uh, Substranium is going to stay home. And the Team Engine is also going to stay home. Tribuchet is going to stay home. Updates are not available for this anymore. 
uh, wallpapers. I'm gonna not block that one because it's gonna get some nice wallpapers for us. And then we just hit apply the rules and then the rules should be applied. You see that? So now rules are applied with success. And now we can go ahead and change our wallpaper back to something nice. Let me show you that. You go to wallpapers here and then you're gonna get all sorts of beautiful wallpapers. This one is on the device. And uh, we also had, let me see if these, these are not coming up, the iOS 12. And uh, we are not connected to the internet, of course. I thought we were. I thought we were connected to the internet. Oh, I, I, I turned off the internet, of course. I'm a little bit confused about that, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. And then we go to wallpapers and then we wait. It should get a bunch. Probably the software need to be. We just let's kill the pizzas. Oh, so many apps open. It's best is to kill all the apps, eh? that you don't have no apps running on the background all the time. This is still an old phone, huh? You see, and now you get all the wallpapers. These are all coming from the internet. Shape, solid colors, art. You see that? Only the dock, you don't see the dock so, so clearly with certain wallpapers. You see that? You don't see it so, so clearly. So for those that want to see the dock clearly, just head up to the iOS app, the launcher app, and the launcher by Loot and Hit also has three wallpapers. There you see them. And yeah, we could go for the popular iOS 10 wallpaper and we set it as our home wallpaper. And of course we can also do the lock screen wallpaper to make it look even more real mm. so let's do that again and we just gonna choose the mid one and set that as our lock screen boom that's it you see that so if you're gonna lock the screen now you're gonna have this wallpaper. I find these things annoying. I don't like these things. I mean, like, why is it showing me this crap? I'm not gonna see that. Don't silence. Show only silence. Never show. So that's it. Now you're done. You see, I know is installed. We have no pull-up dock because in I know the, Yeah, to tell you the honest truth, most of these things, they come with a lot of banners and resources. And yeah, we can block them. So in fact, you could use anyone. But I did not find one that really satisfied me. I don't like this new um, thing. It's It's... It's too Walt Disney, you know? It's too Walt Disney. I want a combination of the old one, but then with colorful icons. I, I once created one, or I modded an uh, existing one, and that one is also very light, has no banners, you know, and does in fact the same things. It gives a more solid look to, to the team. That's what I think. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that up to you. This is my uh, my iOS mod for October. I hope you like it. Uh, I, as always, I adore it. I love it. Thank you, Dorian Dianco, for the rum. Thank you, Loot and Hit, for the look and feels. This was, again, a very long video, but hey, we ended up with a nice phone. You won't see a Samsung S2 like this. Nowhere in the world, maybe somebody that downloaded the team, but like this, there's no second one. So yeah, if you want this, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a link 
to the original rum from Dorian Dianku. And I'm also gonna give you a link to a package that you can download. The rum will be included and the mod and the magisk that I use, all the tools that I use in this, in this video. These are three packages. I'm gonna zip them so you can download them and install them onto your S2 Plus, okay? Remember, um, this is still Android and it will always just stay Android, okay? Remember that, good. Thank you for watching and love to see you, of course, in my next project. And that will be um, the beautiful G1, the G1 100H also got updated with a beautiful iPhone X uh, yeah iPhone X maybe we should not call it iPhone X a X iOS mod ROM in fact ROM and this ROM was uh, powered by Erwin ABS and Partip these are developers from Indonesia so slamat slamat to my in the Indonesian people the next video will be especially for you guys out there still using the G100H on daily base. Um, and I have good news. There is an Oreo in the making for the G1. So yeah, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that it's gonna come soon. But for now, we will be able to enjoy the fantastic uh, Lineage OS ROM and even a Resurrection ROM that were created by the same team uh, Aaron ABS and Partip Indonesia team so yeah be ready for some beautiful artwork coming your way in the next video until then like subscribe and au revoir and merci Dorian update eh?